the DSLR revolution. None of you would be here today if this did not exist. And of course, the GoPro. And then we saw a major change with online video. So codecs got better, um, bandwidth pipes got bigger. We were able to start to distribute HD video. And what were the new behaviors? So this is happening. Basically, people started to make a ton of very high quality video. And that was actually new. That was actually, and that's why we're here, right? Because like, it became so much easier to do this stuff. As we started helping businesses do all, like, use all these different types of, these different types of content, we started building analytics and engagement graphs, and so we could track what people were watching, what they were rewatching, what they were skipping. And we started to build interactivity into our player, so you could add annotations and calls to action and capture email addresses. And really, what I think has happened is that we went from a place where companies were just putting video online to video really became a marketing element. This is some footage that Chris and Trevor at Wistia shot um, just a few months ago. And they just, it snowed, and they went out there and they saw this, and they just thought, let's just send the drone up there. How fucking beautiful is that? <laughs> like, that's insane. Like, if you wanted to get this shot before, you would need a helicopter, and you would need a plan, and you would need someone with a large gimbal and a bunch of other crap to make this happen, and instead, they just saw this, and they thought, well, well okay, let's, let's capture this. This seems like a good thing for us to get. 360 video is, is here now. It didn't exist two years ago. 360 video, for those of you who, have, who haven't seen it, is the ability to take a camera and it shoots everything around it, above it, and below it. So um, it's got lenses everywhere, and then as a viewer, you can actually look through your phone or your computer or put on a headset, and you can experience the space that someone shot. And this didn't exist two years ago, and it's coming fast, it's gonna really change behavior. So this is the Ricoh Theta S, $300. It's got a fisheye lens on each side of it, and you just click it to record, and then you click to stop. If this reminds you of another, first of all, it's exciting. If it reminds you of another camera, the flip video camera, it should, because this will also be killed. Um, and, and it will be killed by the same device. This is going to be killed by your smartphone. Um, this phone, you know, to make this work, you need a camera on each side of the phone, a fisheye lens. The iPhone already has a raised camera ready to go. I think in the next five years, every one of us will be walking around with the 360 video camera in our pockets. And we're going to think, like, oh, is this an experience that I want to share? Or should I shoot it in slow-mo? Or should I put it on you know, Facebook? What, what should I do with it? it? The barrier is going to get a lot lower. And so the comfort being on camera is going way up. And the comfort shooting videos is going way, way up. And as this starts to proliferate over the next five years, and everyone feels more and more comfortable shooting these videos, there's going to be a lot of new behavior. Um, and there's going to be a lot of new behavior in business. Where we think things are going is that we think everyone across the organization is going to start making videos. And it's not just going to be your marketing team anymore. It's not just going to be marketing videos. It's not just going to be support videos. Or it will be support videos. It will be sales videos. It will be internal videos. There will be a lot of videos that made no sense to make before. Like, there was no ROI. The production was too expensive. Like, you could never have considered doing it. And I think what's going to happen is that as this starts to happen, it's going to happen really quickly, and it's actually going to be a little bit like Snapchat. It's going to be harder to see because it's not marketing. There are a number of people here today at Wistia Fest who are already starting to make some videos that are across the organization, some really authentic videos. They're, the future is sitting in the room, and I think we can all learn from them, and I'm really excited to show you what's happening. So this is Enget. Some of you may know him. He's here. Where are you, Enget? He's over there. There he is. Um, and Enget works for Back Office Associates. And what they do is they help Fortune 1000 companies keep control of their data. The chief security officer and made a video really fast, like three hours. Uh, basically just interviewed them, sent it out to the team. So he sent it out to the team, and what happened is that very, very easily, people suddenly were in a much more consistent, like had much more consistent messaging. And the way that training was done in the past is you would make long courses with big scripts, and you'd plan it out, and you'd say, when are we going to do this? And it felt like a chore and a bore to do. And instead, it's like, no, of course I should do this. If this will take me two hours to do. So he did the first one, and people, it's going to do more, it's going to do more. We're also seeing this happening in sales. Um, and this is a really interesting one. Um, the variety of content that we're seeing here is, is, uh, is really interesting, and it's, it's really effective. So this is Alex. Um, he's here from Blue Leads. Blue Leads is an inbound marketing agency, so they help people there about marketing. And one of the things that they discovered was, um, you know, they, they were trying to think like, how can we, how can we make our offering more compelling when we're in competitive situations? And so, if they have a call that goes well with a potential client, with a prospective client, 
they actually make a custom video for that client. And they do it really fast. They do it in like an hour after the call. So the call goes well, they make this video and they send it out there. And when they do that, their close rate is a consistent like 65%. It's pretty unbelievably high. And they, it's pretty easy to tell when they don't do it that it doesn't work. So I think it's really cool because this type of video would have been impossible to make before. And they're just making something really authentic. Their video basically just introduces you to who you'll be working with. That's what it is. It's like, hey, we're Blue Leads and these are the people you're going to talk to. And that is creating more of a human connection. It's a more authentic connection. And that is one of the reasons why more people end up signing up. About a month ago, we had a customer cancel. It's very sad. Um, and when people cancel, they can tell us why they canceled and what we can improve. What this customer said was, what can we improve? Absolutely nothing. I'm just not using video in my business anymore. Boo hoo. Okay. Um, they've been a customer with us for about a year and a half. And Holly on our customer happiness team saw this. And um, she just decided, hey, you know what? This is a customer that just canceled. There's nothing that, you know, I just want to thank them, really, for uh, being with us. And I want to show you the video that she made. Hi, Kristen. This is Holly from Mustia. I'm a customer champion here. And we just wanted to send you a note and say that we'll miss you. And we really appreciated your really kind feedback when you canceled your account. Um, we just want to thank you for your support over the past year. And Lenny and I just wanted to say bye. We hope we'll work with you sometime in the future. Take care. So that video, super authentic, really genuine. It was video made for a customer who had canceled. This is something that would make no sense to do if you're paying to make a video, if you're planning to make a video. Like, this is a illogical thing to do, but behavior has changed so much because the technology has changed so much that Holly thought, hmm, I should do this. And what the, this is, I'll show you the response that she got. So the customer, former customer said, oh my god, seriously, just one more reason to thank y'all are the bombfreddy.com. <laughs> Your personalized and amazing customer service makes me want to completely scrap all of my current business plans and go back to doing video just so I can work with you guys. <laughs> that is a pretty amazing response. Now, the thing to think about here is that Holly spent less than 10 minutes putting this together. She saw it, had the idea, jumped on webcam, recorded it, and sent that out. But because it was so authentic, and it was so human, this customer, this former customer, felt so connected to us that the scale of their response was so much greater than the time effort she put into that. So authentic videos for smaller audiences, it's coming, it's here, it's happening. Um, it's not just going to be about having one video budget anymore. It's going to be about empowering the people across your organization to make video um, and to be more human. And this really resonates with us because we don't really talk about this that much, but our mission at, at WISTI is to make business more human. Um, so we believe that before the internet, every business interaction of all time was with a person. And you know, if you were in the Agora back in the day, and you're, you, you had your rice guy, your beans gal, and you had a relationship with them, and you trusted them, or if it was in like 1985, and you were writing on a little, one of those little cards in, a, in an L.L. Bean magazine, and you said, yeah, I want the bean boot size 10, and they called you up because they couldn't read it, and they delighted you. A lot of that stuff disappeared when the internet came around, right? The internet made everything really cheap and really transactional, and it removed humans from the process. And we think video is the most emotional media that there is. I think we all, I'm sure, feel the same way. And that's what we're so excited about. So we cannot wait for the next 10 years. Um, I think there's going to be a lot of amazing stuff, a lot of authentic video. I think there's a lot of behavior that's going to change. And we are super pumped. Ready?